This was the play in question. Eagles already up 7-0. They've got all the momentum in the world. They're across midfield, nearly in field goal range to put more points on the board. Instead, that happened. Everybody in Philadelphia was furious. Here's Doug Peterson. It was, a, it was a run, a design run, and then that was just an advantage throw. And um, it looked on film, Nelson was a little bit deeper than uh, than he should have been, uh, obviously because it was a lateral. But uh, um, you know, in practice during the week, that's uh, that was never the case. So we got to just clean those things up. All right, let's look at the play. This is called an RPO, a run pass option. As you can see, you got Kelsey and Sayamalu pulling along the perimeter on what appeared to be a sweep play. Aguilar is in motion, and his motion indicates a zone defense. His corner not following him, so you got a three-on-two advantage up top. Aguilar, though, runs that thing poorly. Wentz throws it behind him, and we got a turnover. Even after further clarification, I still don't like the play call. I'm not giving my second-year quarterback two different options when you're up 7 nothing and you have all the momentum in the world. Keep it simple, stupid, Doug. Come on, man. All right, let's move on to the running game now. It was putrid. It was bad. The offensive line didn't block very well. They only averaged 2.79 yards per carry on first and second down. And that was something that Doug Peterson talked about during his press conference on Monday. You know, it was funny because in the middle of the part of the game, uh, I felt like we were going backwards just a little bit. We had some negative, we had some sacks, we had uh, negative rushing plays, we had some penalties in there. And so it felt like, uh, yeah, probably a little bit felt like we were getting away from it. But at the same time, we've got to do better on first and second down to stay positive uh, so that we can continue to run the ball. Stat of the day, 8 of 14 on third down. Average distance of 8.14 yards. The Eagles had 10 conversions of third and six or more. Anyway, back to the running game. I had a huge problem with how Doug Peterson used his running backs. So he had Wendell Smallwood going outside the tackles, Blunt going in between the tackles. But he talked about all offseason about wanting balance with his offense. 39 passes, 20 runs. That's not balance. He seemingly went away from the run after this third and one stuff on Blunt. By the way, he was in shotgun on that play. I don't know why. LeGarrette Blunt averaged 3.75 yards per carry on first and second down. That's a lot higher than what Sproles and Smallwood were averaging. And by the time the fourth quarter rolled around, Blunt only saw four carries, despite a career average of 4.6 yards in the final frame. I had a problem with that as well. You know why? Because look who got the first two carries on this possession midway through the fourth quarter. It was Wendell Smallwood. Yes, Wendell Smallwood. And he went nowhere. The first carry of the fourth quarter, it went to Darren Sproles. So Blunt only saw four of the seven rushes the Eagles had in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not good. Another thing I want to get into. Obviously, the Eagles have a running back by committee system here in Philadelphia. Well, when one back is clearly doing better than the other back, you should be riding the hot hand. But the Eagles really didn't do that on Sunday. Not that LeGarrette Blunt was blowing the top off or anything, but he was doing a lot better than what Wendell Smallwood was doing. And I showed you earlier, that fourth quarter drive, midway through the frame, it was Smallwood getting those carries. There were times where LeGarrette Blunt in New England would see 30 carries one week and five the next. It's all about matchups. And I thought early on, LeGarrette Blunt was running positively through the middle. But the Eagles went away from it, and they went away from LeGarrette Blunt. Thank God they won the game. A couple other things from Sunday. The Eagles picked up Alshon Jeffrey and Torrey Smith during the offseason. Doug, you don't have to throw the ball behind the line of scrimmage anymore on third and long. You don't have to do that. You do that when you don't have weapons and you don't have a quarterback. But you have a second-year guy who looks like a franchise guy in Carson Wentz show some faith. Now, I will say this. He did let Carson Wentz fling it a couple times on third and long, as you saw here. Third and ten, there's Torrey Smith. 
30-yard reception. But Doug still tends to fall back on his tendencies. First and goal from the three. Blunt up the middle from shotgun. By God, put him under center, Doug. He does it here on second and goal, but it's a play-action pass that Wentz throws away. And then on third and goal, trying to do his best Joe Gibbs impersonation, all this shifting and window dressing prior to the snap. And you have Blunt running a swing pass from the one-yard line. I didn't like this call either. Pound it up the middle. You know, if you can just put a seed of doubt in their mind for a second, they happen to go goal line defense, so we got a good matchup. You know, when they went goal line defense and we were in, we had call, but we only felt pretty good, like we were going to, we felt pretty confident that the guy who was going to cover Laguerre, Carson identified it right away, you know, where he was and that he, we had good leverage on him. And uh, so it was, it was well executed. Your running backs were... As you guys can see, Doug Peterson still has a long, long ways to go. Just hopefully he doesn't cost the Eagles any games this year because he cost them two in 2016.